All right, I wanted to do a video on my diagnostic bag and just what I keep inside it and what I find helpful. Uh, I like this bag just because it's small and lightweight and a lot of times if you're, I work in commercial and you know, you don't need to bring a big tool bag all the way up onto a roof to diagnose something. You want something small and lightweight that you can carry around easily. Uh, this is the Vito MB2 and um, I, I've been using it for a while and, and really like it. You know, it seems to carry everything I need. So I'll just go through the compartments and show what I've got in each. On this side, I keep the Nipix pliers wrench. I love this thing. Um, this is the seven inch. I, I've got um, all the different sizes, but this one's probably the one I use the most. This is the uh, 180. Again, I think it's a seven inch. Um, and I keep these Klein needle nose. I do sometimes will grab a drill. Um, this this 12 volt impact, so I do keep bits with me. But I can also put these in my uh, screwdriver and use them that way as well. These are the Malco reversibles and this is a Phillips. I keep this magnet. This is great for holding like door switches on gas furnaces and um, holding panels back and just holding stuff in general. I find it pretty handy. Over here I've got the Klein thermostat screwdriver. This has a few different sizes. This is a screwdriver that I modified, heated the tip up and bent it and then retempered it. Anyways, this is great for prying off connectors and just prying things in really tight spaces. I find it pretty handy. Also, if you're pulling wire through a difficult spot, you can like hook, get it in there and hook it and pull it. It's just, this is handy for a lot of different things. This is a seven millimeter for the stupid uh, LG VRF panel screws. They're, they're seven millimeter for some reason. Just a little tip, if you've got a socket that you wanna use for something odd, uh, and you're using it a lot, um, you can take some magnets. I don't know if you can see those, but if you throw some magnets in there, it'll, it'll make it magnetic so you're not dropping the screws everywhere. I've got this Klein 6-inch wrench, which I modified. So it's, it doesn't open quite big enough to get off the suction service caps. So what you do, this will definitely void your warranty, but you knock that tooth out and then you can open it as far as you want and it works great. It's so much more useful <laughs> that way. I mean, it stops just short of being able to get the service caps off. I keep some long bits, which I can use in my screwdriver. These are, these are Klein. Um, there's the number on that one. They make a screwdriver that these fit into, but I, I just, I just, I don't want to carry another screwdriver. I've already got one that I can stick these in and you'll you'll see that it's in this main compartment. I keep these V-notch wire strippers. I don't want them to come out of there. Ah. I keep these I really like these. They're they're cheap, like five bucks at Lowe's. But when you get good at using them, they're very fast and very versatile because you can strip any size wire with them. They also work really great for cutting zip ties. So if you've got a zip tie super tight around wires, um, you want to cut the zip tie, but you don't want to cut the wires. You can just get these little hooks right in there. Boom, cut it right off there. I, I just find these really useful, small and lightweight. Okay, this is a 3 16 Allen just for taking out gas plugs. The majority of plugs on like gas valves and stuff are 3 16 so 
I don't keep a manometer with me, but I can at least take the plug out and see if, you know, it sounds like I've got good gas pressure. I use the field piece smart probes, so uh, for the temperature clamps you do need a good electrical connection on the pipes. So I, I use this, it just works really well for like, let's say, you know, you've got a corroded pipe, you just go around the top and the bottom like that and you you really don't need much you just need to knock a little bit of that just get a little bit of a shiny surface this thing works really well for that I, I do use it sometimes for filing things and sharpening stuff but mostly I use it for my temp clamps in here I keep an inspection mirror I keep this little light which is magnetic so it can go on the side of a cabinet and then you can adjust the light to wherever you need it. I also keep a light on my belt that I use a lot. It's got a magnetic end. This, um, this is a non-contact voltage detector which my meter already has but it, the nice thing about it is it's a super compact infrared thermometer so I can take vent temperature. It's not super accurate. It's probably within a couple degrees. Um, nowhere near as accurate as this fluke, but it's a uh, it's small and lightweight, and it'll just tell me kind of give me a rough idea of what the air is coming out of a vent or something like that. I keep this. Um, I. I've used Fluke for years and years. I re recently switched over to this field piece. It's kind of an obnoxiously big meter, but it does a lot, and it's got great, super great wireless range. I mean, I can um, I can have my meter up on a unit on the roof, and I can be down below hitting breakers or doing whatever, and I can see on my phone what the meter is reading. So I find that very, very helpful. I keep these... Um, these are power probe wire piercers and they're not rated for high voltage so you know I, I don't recommend you use them but I use them um, and with the field piece leads you don't need an adapter because they're the same as the power probe which is a female four millimeter banana on the end if you need if you're using them with something like fluke leads you would need a an adapter but I really like these for you know, if you want to see whether a fan motor is getting voltage or whatever and you just can't access very well uh, where the wires are, you can just tap right into them at the motor. So I really like those. That's all in there. In here I just keep some odds and ends. I've got a alligator uh, clip I can put on my leads. I've got this four-way jumper. I did a video on this. Um, really good for jumping out units. The regular alligator clip. A needle jumper. You can jump out pins on a Molex connector with this. It's just two needles soldered on a wire. hose gaskets. I keep some caps. I keep a little breaker so if I'm troubleshooting a short I'll just hook this up and then I, I've got a little breaker. Um, nylog. Keep these needle probes. I just put vinyl tubing over them so they don't go through my bag but these are the field piece uh, needle probes. And little odds and ends, little uh, little connectors and fuses and wire nuts and whatnot. In the main pouch, I've got my field piece smart probes, and I did a video on on smart probes showing some of you know what all this is. I won't repeat that, but anyways, I, I love the range on these things. It's incredible. Um, I can. You know, I can set them up on a 
semi-hermetic and watch it pump down from being inside the cooler it's it's amazing anyways keep those in there and those if, if you're wondering how I've got that organized these just go in this back clamp and then the, the probes are right in there there's not a ton of pockets inside here so it's hard to keep stuff perfectly organized down in there I've got the uh, temp um, the thermocouples for my meter I keep a little bag of stuff I'll, I'll go through that stuff in a second I've got the Klein No, it says 180 so, a millimeter. So, anyways, just small, lightweight, really nice, made in Germany. I keep this Klein. This is like an eight-in-one or something, but I really like it because it's got a magnetic end that switches between five sixteenth and a quarter. It's got a Phillips and flat right here, and then it's got a thermostat screwdriver, which is nice, and a core remover. So anyways, I really like this, this Klein, I, I think that's the number, 32596. Keep a roll of electrical tape. I keep a caliper hook. Uh, if you're working in a drop ceiling, you can hang your bag off the drop ceiling. Obviously you want to be near a hanger, but uh, off a conduit, off a unit, uh, I just find this really helpful for getting my bag close. Keep these crimpers. Um, a lot of guys like using full-size crimpers like these. And, um, and you know, the, I, I do like that on 10 gauge stuff, but on most things, these are just perfect. Uh, these are made by Malco, but I, I believe you can find a lot of off-brand uh, versions of this. I mean, they're, they're very small and lightweight they've got the stripper built in and they do the non-insulated terminals and then the insulated terminals right there um, and they do 14 to 24 so I, I love these things uh, they just crimp really really well oh and by the way I, I did if you're not wondering I, I did have to replace a handle uh, um, if you ever have to do that one way that you can do it is just a I, I don't like the tool dip it's just not tough enough so if if you have a handle uh, covering go bad just find a piece of really tough tubing that fits super tight and just hammer it on there so that's one way to to deal with that problem uh, one thing about this bag I'll say that drove me crazy was that so you've got all your stuff packed into these pockets when you zip when you unzip it the zippers tuck behind everything and you can't you can't reach them so I did put some loops of paracord around it and, and it's made it so much easier because that paracord lays outside of all your tools you've got stacked here and you can just pull it up so just one thing that was really bothering me about this bag until I put that paracord on it okay in here I just keep things related to my smart probes uh, that I, I went over how to make that in a video um, some by uh, service tool and a, a lot of stuff like this and a few of the other things that I I, I might not get everything out here but uh, it just for getting in tight tight spots on the service tool, I love this Uniweld um, combination bit, the 5 16ths and 3 16ths, because if you, if you know when they've got the 5 16ths here and then a the little 3 16ths nub, man, it's frustrating. I mean, yes, it does work on a lot of units, but there are units where it won't work. Like the 3 16ths can't reach down far enough, or the 5 16ths, you, you know, it just having it on either side this is made by Uniwell. man I just I love this bit so it just goes in like that and then you've got a double-sided uh, service tool bit yellow jacket shut off core depressor this is for uh, 5 16 mini splits so 
Let's me get on many splits. An extra bit. Little piece for locking caps. It's just for the um, locking caps there. Um, this right here is just a muffler um, for like letting nitrogen out or something like that. Just keeps it from making that high pitched um, squeal. So that's. Um, that's like a, a paintball CO2 uh, filler muffler. Anyways, probably uh, that's something that I use, but uh, most people probably won't find that helpful. Keep a few spare caps and whatnot. So anyways, um, yeah, that's, that's mostly what I take up on a roof and I can diagnose the vast majority of issues just with what I've got right here. So anyways guys, hope, hope uh, you find that helpful.